everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm gonna to share with you how to make an awesome appetizer called Crab Rangoon. It's gonna be baked and not fried. It's gonna be super easy, super delicious, and let's see how we do this. on the super easy crab rangoon and the first thing you're going to need is a package of um, wonton wrappers and I have like one and a half packages in here because I had a half a package and I bought a new one so I put them all in this sandwich container because you don't want these to dry out so I'm going to put the lid on those until I need them. I have one brick of softened cream cheese in here and to which we are going to add one cup of shredded this is imitation crab meat that I chopped up with my pastry blender. You can use uh, real crab meat if you like, if you want to go to that expense, but every Chinese restaurant I've ever been to uses this stuff. So that's what we're going to use because it's easy on the budget and it's yummy in the tummy. So we're also going to use a teaspoon of soy sauce and a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, as well as a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, cracked black pepper, and sugar. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of chopped green onion into this mix. So let's get started. I'm just going to throw in maybe a tablespoon of green onion. We'll put in our crab. I can't do it backwards. I hate that. I'm not a TV girl. All of our seasonings, salt, I mean there's no salt, sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, and cracked black pepper, and our Worcestershire, and our soy go in there as well. And I think I'm going to grab a wooden spoon because I'm going to be happier if I have that to stir with. And we'll just go in here. You can even get your mixer out here and it would work great. So I'm going to mix this up and I'll be right back and we'll continue on. Okay, there we go, clean off my beaters. I went ahead and got out my mixer as you can see and the reason I did that was because who has time to stand around and um, stir this with a wooden spoon when I have perfectly good kitchen tools that'll do that work for me, right? Am I lazy? I don't think so. I think that I am using what I have available to me and you should do that as well. All right, so now that I have my mixer put away, I have here a little scoop. It's a teaspoon scoop. If you don't have a teaspoon scoop, I understand. So just use about a teaspoon, okay? And we'll show you a teaspoon of filling is about that much. Got it? All right, so now we're gonna wanna lay out some of our little wrappers, and I'm gonna show you how to um, form these. Put your little scoop of filling right in the center and then I have some water. And do it. There's a couple of ways you can shape these. I'll show you the easy way first. Fold it over into a triangle. Okay. Now, you can leave them just like that if you want to. And they're really easy that way, right? You want to make it a little bit fancier, make it into a little crown. And it looks like a little Pope Smiter, really, if you look at it that way. Okay. The other way you can do this, okay, let me get another scoop here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do that simple example again and you press all the air out from the center and then you, you press that seam closed really tightly. You can do it that way. So that's two ways, right? Now, I guess there's really four ways if you want to get technical. You can do it this way. What you can do is you take it and let's see if I can do this. this and this is how my Chinese restaurant makes them 
little packet like that. Ta-da. That's how my Chinese restaurant makes them. And then if you want to just do a beggar's purse, put your filling in there. And moisten it up and kind of stuff it down in between your um, your fingers here and gather up all of those corners and just do like that and then you have what they call a beggar's purse so you choose how to put these together I'm gonna go and get these all ready and then I'm gonna bring you back and I'm gonna show you what I've done with them okay I've gotten my sheet of crab rangoon all ready now, I only made a half of a recipe, so I made 28, so this recipe will easily make 56. I think there's 48 wonton wrappers in a, um, in a package, so you just make as many or as few as you like. However, I'm going to save what I didn't use over here, and I'm just going to make more when we have them for Super Bowl Sunday. This is only going to stay in the fridge for a couple of days, and then I can whip these up as I like. Now, you can see that I sprayed these with some vegetable oil. This is uh, sunflower oil. And this is because I'm not frying them, I'm baking them, but I still want to get the benefit of the oil. So I've sprayed it with the oil. I also sprayed the parchment very well. And we're going to pop these into a 400-degree oven for 12 minutes. And here we go. We'll be back when these come out and I can show you what they look like. Okay, we're back. And these were actually in here for 15 minutes. And look how perfect they are. And you didn't have to fry them and you didn't have to make a giant mess in your kitchen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let these cool for just a few minutes and I'm going to plate them and I'll bring you back and I'll show you what they look like. Have it. Beautiful, delicious, baked, not fried crab rangoon that you made at home, quick and easy, with just a few ingredients. We're serving ours today with some sweet Thai chili sauce, otherwise known as Maploy. It's our favorite. And uh, you can serve this with any number of things, but that's what we're going to do. You can serve it with a soy sauce based sauce, like a pot sticker sauce. You can serve it with a sweet and sour sauce or a plum sauce. You decide what you're going to serve this with today. It's Maploy sweet Thai chili sauce for us. And I'm going to taste this today, and I'm sure Rick is too. You want, you want me to shove one of these in your mouth, honey? Of course. <laughs> Here you go. Mm. Hot. Is it hot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but oh, so good. Mm -hmm. mm. It's very hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Very good. Mm. Mm. Wow. You're going to really love these, folks. I hope that you try these. And there is no reason why you shouldn't. They're so simple. And, I mean, they're so cheap to make. When you order these from the Chinese restaurant, I think we get six or eight in an order, and it's ridiculously expensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least have to order two orders for the whole family. This always reminds me of my birthday, because that's what I like to have on my birthday, is Chinese food. So, there you have it. Homemade crab rangoon, quick and easy and delicious. I hope you try it. I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see ya. Mm. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you learned something, and I hope you're going to give it a try, and I hope that you love it. I know that you will. I also wanted to say, if you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen. And also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and also on my blog over at blogger.com. There will be links to all of those things in the information bar below. So, I hope that you all have a great day, and make sure that you come back tomorrow. I'll see ya!